Hello everyone, welcome to beamodeler.com. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing or solving uh, the questions from Rashid actually. So he asked uh, how to create a pipe tag which indicates the uh, bottom of the pipe. There are different options which is available in Revit. So see for example, if I am using 2020 uh, Autodesk itself, they have very limited options for the bottom of the pipe. If you go Prior to this, you may not be having these options, top elevation and bottom elevation, you may not be having it. But uh, if you see in 2020, you will be able to have top elevation and bottom elevation like these. So from that, you can create any tag and you can edit the tag family and you will be able to add that particular uh, value. For example, bottom of the elevation value, you can add into that and you will be able to load into the project and see coming the value of the bottom of the pipe it shows only the one end so this is a problem if he, it is a sloped pipe we have to have bottom in both the ends it will be easy for us to understand so this question which is solved in uh, razor version like 2023 you can see that these many values are there you can click this tag and see these options lower end and upper end two things are there like in this one lower end and an upper end and each one will have different values like lower end bottom elevation lower end bottom elevation of insulation center line lower end invert elevation like there are many options available for each end lower end and upper end you can customize this by going to this tag and you can add only uh, by saying lower end bottom elevation and you can remove all the other options so upper end bottom elevation I can remove all these options and leave it as it is load into project or at the existing version now if you see that we have 2483 in this end and 2671 in this end so this is how you will be able to edit your um, tag family and you will be able to uh, give your proper name so for example lower end bottom upper end bottom and if you need quotations in this prefix select ok load into project or so this is how you will be able to do it in region version but what about the previous version if you are using that previous version doesn't have the values so even though I have uh, uh, in the previous projects if you don't have top elevation and bottom elevations of this ends we have to use dynamo and we have to create this parameters ourselves and using the uh, middle elevations we have to calculate using the slope value and we have to calculate the top end and bottom end or even the uh, starting and upper end and lower end we have to use the formulas and in the dynamo and we have to calculate the each pipes uh, these values and we have to uh, fill the parameter values using dynamo that's how it works in the previous version if you don't have a proper parameter like in 2023 i hope uh, i have answered uh, some of your questions so do let me know if you need any help on this and do uh, follow bimmodeler.com for downloading Revit free families and dynamo scripts. Thank you so much. See you on the next tutorial.